All right, like I said in a previous video, I believe, I'm gonna do a hatch here, and I'm going to do one full hatch to where it looks like it's a complete deck, but this whole middle section right here is gonna be able to lift up in one piece, and then you'll have access to all this stuff in here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do it. I've got some eighth inch angle, and what I plan on doing is riveting it to this front part of the seat but drop it down a little bit and it's going to have to be the width of how thick this decking aluminum is going to be and also i picked up a heavy duty uh, piano hinge this isn't like one of them cheap ones you get from lowe's this is supposed to be a lot stiffer it's a little wider and i'm hoping it'll work pretty good so i need the width of this and the width of the metal to let me know how far to drop it down and then i'm gonna do the same thing back here of course this is just going to be dropped down to whatever the width of that top piece is going to be that way when it's shut it's going to be flush with this seat so like i said it's going to look like one big deck but it's going to be hinged right here and it's going to be to where you can open it up and access all this i'm going to run some square tubing braces on each side i think i'm hoping that'll be enough uh, we'll just have to see I, I don't ever plan on standing on the front part of this deck and really doing a whole lot like i said anytime i'm fishing out of this boat i'm fishing out of the back i usually stand on that seat and work the hand control trolling motor but i just thought it'd be kind of neat and give the boat a cool look and it'll save me some aluminum versus having to run a, a piece of aluminum from the very front part of that seat all the way back to here i'll be able to get that and the floor out of that remaining sheet of aluminum i have so hopefully it all works out that's the plan and uh i guess i need to get to work on huh? all right i think i got it all framed up i didn't film any of it because it was one of them uh, trial and error type deals i just kind of pieced it together it took me a while to figure out how to do this up front instead of doing the angle iron across the front like i said originally I just went ahead and riveted this piano hinge all the way across and then I went back with some angle iron in two of the holes and riveted it on both sides and that'll that gives me something for this to rest on plus it would allow me to tie in these braces right here now I did go ahead and do the angle iron in the back I used a piece of just a piece of scrap to see how much I needed to drop it so it would be flush when it's closed and then I went ahead and riveted it in all the way across and then I went in with some one by one aluminum tubing riveted in I countersunk that one and the two up here and then I went in with a dog leg it's actually angle and I notched it out here and at the bottom and then riveted it to this rib and to the top and it's uh it's real stout so i think that's going to work pretty good uh, now all i got left to do is make me a template for this and cut it out and then i think it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to figure out where to drill all these which i'm not going to use all the holes maybe every other one maybe not even that I mean, it's not going to be that heavy of a piece of metal. I could probably get away with just like five or six going through there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is probably slide the piece under here after I get it cut down and then just mark the holes that I want, drill through those, and then get me some kind of just bolts to put in it instead of trying to rivet it or use anything since it, these already are countersunk i should be able to find some kind of bolts little flat bolts that'll go in here and just tighten them up on the bottom that way i can have because i'll be able to have bolts sticking out through here the way i got it laid out right now the only spots i can is of course these two and those two right there i think that'll be the best way to attach that all right it's uh coming along i need to go ahead and make my template for the floor too. Like I said, I should be able to get that and the floor out of that one piece of aluminum I have left. And it should work out all right. 
Now I've already put foam in the bottom of this boat. Um, I'm just going to do this center section because I'm leaving both seats in. Both of them have foam and I'm not really adding that much weight to it. And I've showed how to cut this foam in the past couple boat builds so uh, I decided you know it's pretty cut and dry. don't want to overdo it. Just all you got to do is measure how tall your ribs are and get you some foam to match it. This is one inch. And actually up here, I ran out of this. I just used scrap I had left over and up here, I stacked half inch. So that's that. Like I said, I didn't wanna keep on harping on the same stuff. So I already got that in and it's ready to go. All right, this morning we're gonna go ahead and make the template for this bottom. I got me two pieces of cardboard actually one piece of cardboard I just basically measured a little big I actually measured exact going this way and then measured a little big across and then cut the square in half that way I can overlap them hopefully I did it right and what I'm gonna do is wrap it in here and then mark these and mark these two ribs and cut them out All right, once you get one side right where you want it, you go ahead and do the other side. Once you get both sides trimmed out like you need them, make sure you got them exactly where you want them to go. Tape them together. I do recommend using duct tape or something that's going to be really hard to come off at blue painters tape is specifically made to be able to peel off easy and you don't want your tape coming off once you take your template out you want everything to stay exactly the same so make sure you get some tape it's super sticky all right now we can take it out Do a little bit of swapping, put the boat on the ground so I can put this sheet of aluminum on the saw horses. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and put the template on there and get it marked out. I hope I can use the same template for the front part of the boat. All right, now what I gotta do is cut it out. Cool. All right, let's see if it fits. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I went ahead and just made another template for the front part. That way I can use the template for the floor as my template for the hydro turf since I might not be able to get that piece back out very easily. So uh, 
went ahead and made this same way I made the one for the floor and I'm gonna go ahead and trace it out and get to cutting. See if it fits. I really hope so. A hair bit long, which it might just be in certain spots. See if we can trim that, it'll be good. All right, see what we got. Pretty close, pretty close. Figure out where to drill these holes. I like to get all these holes lined up for the piano hinge. What I end up doing was cutting a piece of cardboard. It's the same width as the front of this, and then I was able to slide it on top of the piano hinge, fold it up and hold it in place, and then I marked all the little holes. So I think I've got it right. So I taped it to the front of this and what I'm gonna do is drill out these holes I'm not gonna do all of them but I went ahead and marked all of them so fingers crossed that I'm not screwing this up all right let's see if I messed up or not oh right, y'all check it out I just got a few bolts on the top just to kind of hold everything in place and just to test it out. I still need to go get some. Check it out, it works. And you can't open it all the way. That's as far as you can get because it starts rubbing on the top rail, but it's gonna work. I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna run a, a piece right across here just to give it a little extra support right there in the middle. Probably right past that rib where these T's are coming up. But uh, yeah, man, that's gonna work. That's gonna work pretty good. I just gotta go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up some bolts to put in. I'm gonna countersink them. So I gotta get, get something with like a flat head. But I can go ahead and go get those and I can go ahead and countersink my holes and then put that in. That's uh, ready to go. I need to go ahead and order my hydro turf now because that is where I'm at. I haven't ordered it yet. I've been putting it off. So I wanted to make sure all this is really going to work and uh, it actually worked out. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. So cool. Um, I'm happy with the way that turned out. I need to order some kind of pool to put in here. I might be able to find something at Home Depot. All right. Cool. I am glad that is done coming right along now almost time to paint it all right I'm gonna stick a fork in this part of the project it, it went pretty smoothly I'm actually surprised I didn't hit any major snags uh, that's all the aluminum work I'm gonna be doing to this boat and uh, I'm glad it's over with I was able to get the floor and that front part of the deck out of that one sheet and I still got a good chunk of aluminum left from that sheet it always makes you feel good when a little project goes as planned. All right, so the next step will probably be getting this thing ready for paint. I'm kinda 
on the fence about putting a couple rod holders in this boat. I have some tubes to do it, but I'm not exactly sure what to do on the other end. I don't want to do like I did that last boat, you know, go through all the trouble to make a little box. Uh, so if, if I, I might you know, go to Walmart and see if I can't find some rod holders or something that might work. And if not that, it's going to be time to go ahead and start getting this thing ready to paint. Paint come in the other day. I still haven't went and got a paint gun, but that ain't uh, just going down the street and getting one at uh, Harbor Freight. But anyhow, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you on the next one.